What's going on guys, Dev here, and welcome back to some more Mavinogi. Now today we're doing a, I guess you could call it a basics tutorial, not really for combat or anything, but just for the basic game itself. We're going to be, I'm or I'm going to be really, showing you the controls of Mavinogi, how everything works, etc, etc. Or at least try to, if I forget stuff, you know, I'll make a second video of it, but no one's perfect. and seeing as how I'm totally new to making videos to begin with, or at least these kind of videos, it's going to take me a while. So, I'm just going to go ahead, log into Mavi, I'm going to skip to where I go to my character select screen. Okay, so now that I've reloaded Mavi, we're at the character select screen where you can collect your, or it, collect? Select, I mean, your characters. As you can see, I have two characters so far and a character card over here. I don't intend to use this character much, but this one I do. This one's going to be used for a series that I'm going to be doing on my channel, but... For right now, this is just a basics tutorial, so we're just gonna hit that start button and see if that's another thing that makes Mavi crash while recording. Probably. Knowing my luck. And we are back from all of that tragic crashing. Alright, so, we are now in the game. Uh, it doesn't usually cause that many problems, it just caused a lot for me while I was recording. So, let's just go ahead and get this thing started. Alright, movement. That's pretty freaking important, allows you to go places. Now in Mavi, you can either click anywhere, you can click on the map. However, it doesn't work like it does in RuneScape, if you've ever played RuneScape. When you click on the map somewhere in RuneScape, your character tries to get to that destination, avoiding obstacles. In Mabby, on the other hand, say you want to click around an obstacle, your character has really bad AI, and will try to go through the obstacle. You can see what that's doing for him. Now, if you're a fan of any first-person shooter or any other game that doesn't involve clicking to move, you can also hit W, A, S, or D. W makes you go forward, S makes you go backward, A makes you go left, and D makes you go right. Now camera movement is another really important thing in Mavi. To zoom in, just scroll your mouse wheel down, or out even, Ugh. I don't know where my brain is today, and then zoom in, you scroll up. Fairly simple. And to move the camera around, you hold the the right clicker, I mean. Your cursor will turn into that little icon right there. When it's like that, you move it, and you move the camera. If you're in full screen, you can also move your cursor over to the sides. I have a second screen over here, and I'm not in full screen, but... And it'll move the camera as well. Just left to right direction, not up and down. I think you can do the same with uh, up and down, I don't know. But anyways, that's basic movement and controlling the camera. Now we're going to move on to uh, the interface itself. As you can see, your hotbar is up here. Now normally you won't have these two uh, hotbars over here when you first start out. At least I don't think. I didn't have them. I had to select them, which I will show you how to do in due time. But first I'm going to show you uh, the first menu over here. Toggle character window. You can either click this button, or if you don't have these options, like if you have this instead, which you probably shouldn't, but hey, you can always hit C. This will give you basic information on your character. I'm not going to cover all of this, like this part right here I'm going to cover in the combat tutorial, but I will cover all of this. Your name, obviously your name. Age, there are certain ages in Mabinogi. They're Depending on uh, certain items like clothing, there are specific age limits, and you have to be that age in order to use said item. Your race and gender, right here, I am a human male. Your title over here, now these are pretty interesting. Titles are basically, I guess you could call them achievements. And with each title comes its own specific buffs and debuffs, as you can see right here. I currently have 
the Master of Shields, which is rewarded to anyone who has rank 1 shield mastery and has perfectly trained it. That gives me 10 defense and protection. There's a lot of ways to get uh, titles, as you can see. I'm, if it's blue, if your title is blue, that means you have it. If it's gray, that means you've learned about it and need to know more about it in order to gain it. And these question marks, um, that basically means you don't have the, you don't have any idea how to get that title just yet. You can always look it up on Mabinogi World Wiki if you're looking to get every single title in game. I think it's possible. I don't know. I never tried. But these are very important as they give you specific stat boosts. Now, these won't Unlike Vindictus, they won't apply to you permanently forever. You actually have to equip the title in order to get the uh, bonus. Like example, this one gives plus 20 strength, but reduces your dex and intelligence greatly. So we're going to click Use This Title. And we went from the Master of Shields to the Strong. And here's our stat boosts over here. We have a very high strength now, but our intelligence and dexterity is suffering. Now, the second title down here, or available title option list, these are just miscellaneous things. You usually get them via events, like the Shining Hero. There's a lot more on my, uh, hero character, like Sao Nishida and uh, Maple Story, which gives you specific buffs for specific things. But this one only has Shining Hero, which is primarily cosmetic. As you can see down here, it's, it makes me sparkle. Yeah. Pretty cool, I guess. Talent title. I'll be getting into talents in a totally different re uh, review. No. Tutorial. To tal uh, talents <laughs> are very helpful in both combat and non-combat, which is why it's getting its own tutorial. And the active talent is the talent you choose when you rebirth, which, again, I will go into later. I will be right back. And we are back. I am sorry for that interruption. <laughs> Need to catch my breath now. Anyway, over here is your HP, your health points, obviously. MP, magic points. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be. I need to catch my breath. Huh? Huh, I was doing some pretty heavy work earlier. I apologize. And stamina, right here, which, okay, let me try to explain stamina. Everything you do in the game, besides magic, requires stamina, especially if you're a champion warrior, or not even champion warrior, just a warrior, or a knight, or a fighter. You're going to use up a lot of stamina, which is highly, which is why it's highly recommended you get a lot of stamina potions. Alright, now over here... Your XP. Obviously, that tells you your level, your XP percentage, how much XP you have left to level up. You need XP to level up. The more levels you get, the better off you are. Obviously, that's any MMO ever. Now over here, we have AP, Ability Points. Ability Points allows you to raise specific skills if you've trained them high enough, which is one of the many things I find interesting about Mabinogi. I'll get into that a little bit later, though. Over here, additional info. This is your rebirth info. This is a really, really big thing in Mabinogi. Every... okay. If you have a character below total level 1000, you can pretty much rebirth every day. This means, let's say you're like level 46 like I am right now. You hit rebirth, you go to rebirth, and you're back to level 1. This does not mean it resets everything. It only resets your level, and some of your stats because you gain stats when you level up. But basically you'll be able to keep your skill ranks the same. So when you rebirth, go back to level 1, you can raise yourself up to 50 so you can get more AP, max up your skills a little bit more, and you grow stronger as you progress through the game. It's a really awesome concept. I like it. It's one of the many things I like about this game. Just the concept of building up your character. So there's that. 
Your PvP info if you get into PvP. Marriage info, you can get married in the game, similar to uh, Maple Story if you've ever played that. Jousting tournament records, if you joust, you can do that. Heart point info, not that important. Demigod support info. Now, this one's kind of interesting. Later on in one of the storyline quests, you'll get an ability called Demigod, which I'll go into once I do all of the generation quests and record them. Exploration info. This basically shows you your exploration level, what all you've done to get your level, and yeah, just all that. Journal. Oh, okay, this is like all of your achievements. I never really looked into this, but this is all of the little achievements you got. Like, example, I reached community level 100, 300, 500, soon to reach 1,000 on this character. I've got up to level 60 on this character. Pioneer's area, uh, exploration 25. You visited every town in Erin. We are family, I've joined a guild. Yeah. I think all of these add up with the characters and not just... Did they? Let's find out. No, apparently they didn't. Okay. So these are individual for each character. It's cute little stuff like that. Family tree, if you're in a family, which I'm not. You can have families in the game. There are several buffs to this. I don't know what they are, though, but there's special things about them. And PvP rank. Again, it's totally if you're into PvP, which PvP can be a lot of fun in this game, and other times it can be a pain in the butt. Part-time jobs. Something you can do in Mabby to kind of gain some money, but more or less you do it for two specific items, and that's Holy Water and Homestead Seeds. I'll get into Holy Water once I get into combat, I guess. But this tells you your success rate with the jobs, what all you did, etc. And your current part-time job in progress. Keywords are used for specific storyline quests. You don't have to worry about them just yet. Combo cards are practically worthless sometimes, like this one, for example. A combo card, I'm assuming, if you follow the combo on the card, you'll deal more damage with all these skills. The thing with combo cards is, puppet skill, then switch to alchemy, alchemy, then go to combat, then go to lances, and then somehow manage to pull off a magic attack. That sounds easy, but if you've played the game, you're just like, um, no, just no collection journal on the various things you did like hunting that's basically slaying monsters transformation a skill I'll get into a bit later once I get into adventure talent fishing cooking taming that's pretty obvious you can tame monsters and I'll show you how to do that probably with adventure uh, talent because the adventure talent is very interesting and commerce commerce is also a specific skill set in the game which I may or may not go into. I don't really do it that much, but there are people out there who do it a lot. So that pretty much covers character info. There's a lot to cover, but I'll try to cover it in as little time as possible. Like this one, talents, I'll go into this a little... Um, in a uh, separate tutorial, I mean. Skills I'm going to go into right now. I'm not going to go over every skill and what they do, but basically there are specific kinds of skills like life skills, you know, um, non-combat related skills. Combat, melee combat related skills, which I'll be going into in the next tutorial. Magic skills, be it combat or non-combat. Uh, technically all of them are combat, but I don't really consider healing combat. Alchemy, combat, non-combat. Fighter, that's obviously full-on combat. Music, for buffs mainly for buffs, or in case you want to play a song you really enjoy, which you can do in this game. You can actually make it so that you can play a song you really like in this game. It just takes a lot of work, I heard. Puppetry, I don't have anything for that. Dual guns, you know, in case you like to shoot things. Ninja. Hidden skills are a bit interesting. They kind of go in with talents. And Paladin, or Dark Knight, if you so choose. Oh, I can... And unlearned skills. This is a really interesting tab. I kind of like that they added this. It shows you all the skills you 
don't know. And there's like a lot of skills in the game. So the options are limitless. Now Demigod I don't have on this character so I can't show that off. But I think I'll show it off when I reach that point in the game. On this character anyways. Anyways, quests. There are several different kinds of quests in Mabinogi. I'm going to go ahead and give up on that. Oh, yeah. I'll give up on that one. I'm not really going to do it. Event quests are basically any form of event going on in the game right now. They're going to be here. Normal quests are your basic everyday quests you get from people or from just doing specific things. Like, I only focus on the daily events, like the offering today. Eh, it's not really that great of a daily for Taltian, but hey. If you have people or just really good at the game, there you go. I don't really focus on that, and what's this? Oh yeah, more daily quests. You'll receive daily quests like this a lot. As, and daily events. If you can do the daily event in the shadow missions, I recommend doing them. 75k experience, 15 AP coupons, one adventurer seal. I'll go into that. Mm. I'll go into that at a later time. I don't know exactly what tutorial that'll be though. And then you have your storyline quests like the Divine Knights, you'll always get that. Alchemist because this character is on G9. Goddess because in case you're on gens 1 through 3. Now the big thing, your inventory. You probably say, wow, you've got a lot of inventory space. Let me close all that out. This is the inventory you start out with. This is where all of your equipment is gone. You might notice that I have all this armor on yet. I'm dressed up like this. That's because I have the style tab open, which requires NX to open up. But if you remove this, you see, oh, there's my armor. Huh. Look at that. It's not required, but I like it. But this is where you'd put your helmet, your clothing, I guess you'd call that, <laughs> your shoes, gloves. This is a robe tab in case you want to wear a robe. And your weapon tabs, right here. This would be your right hand, this would be your left hand. And these two slots over here are for accessories. Now this is your basic inventory where you can store just about anything. Your me inventory is a bit different. It is used to hold story items and story items alone. That's all it is used for. That's all it ever will be used for. VIP inventory is free inventory, but you need to have VIP membership in order to use it. You have a search box down here in case you need to search for a specific item you can't find. If you're like me and have like three different bags in here. Which you can actually store inventories in your inventory to carry more stuff, as you can see here and here. How you get them, you usually get them from events. You can get, you can buy one of these on the general store, but they cost a bit of money. Speaking of money, this is where the gold in your inventory will be stored. Or, not stored, I'd say, but uh, it shows you how much money you have with you. Now see, we'll go talk to the banker over here, which to talk to people, just click. They give you a description for whatever reason, even though you could just look right here. Open my bank account, and we'll just withdraw 100k. Now, because I have... I need to find them again. I think they're in here. No, they're not. I get lost in my inventories as well. Because they're in here, you don't see it. But when I divide it, I can only go up to 1,000. If you don't have any of these big gold pouch bags, your money will be divided up like this. Meaning each and every slot will be filled up with a thousand gold. So, it's highly recommended you get gold pouches or big gold pouches. We'll put that back for now. Oh, and you can also use this item bag for a personal shop. This one in particular. The ones you buy from my uh, general stores, I mean. This, these two I got from specific events. I don't think you'd get any one of them now. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways... This is your pet slot. As you can see, I've got tons of pets. This is in case you have a mount or any other form of combat pet, or a partner such as a maid or a butler. Your actions. 
This is a pretty interesting one. It's like skills, but at the same time, it's not. You can do several different things. Normal attack, don't worry about. You just... I'll teach... Don't even worry about that. Umbrella, you get from wielding an umbrella. Continent warp is another pretty basic thing. I would show you, but... Oh no, it doesn't crash, but... Anyway, it allows you to uh, warp from your current the current continent you're on to another one. Just easy access, so you don't have to get on a boat. Performance, I don't know. Rock throw... This one's kind of fun. It allows you to throw a rock at an enemy, and I think it can pull off their aggro on specific things, but at the same time, if something is, like, near death, you can use this to easily get rid of them. Play dead, that's obvious. You lie on the ground looking unconscious, and it can fool most uh, monsters you fight to thinking you're actually dead. Elrod Exploration and Sketch are just part of exploration, which I'll get into in another tutorial. I've got a lot to cover in this game, and gestures. These aren't too big of a deal. They're just gestures. You can unlock a few, and VIP access gives you, like, several more. Your homestead, I'll get into in another video, but this is basically where you'd go to your homestead, or go to... Review homestead map, visit visitor list, etc. Messenger. This is your friends list, your ignore list, your guild list. This is where you'd send a message or send notes to people. Which, with a note, um, s say someone's holding up a personal shop, you want to send them a note saying, I'll give you this for that. You know, something like that. Or just sending a note to people if they're offline, kinda. Now, option up here allows you to change certain things, like I've been meaning to change this, uh, let's see. I don't know what to change it to, just yet. But if you change that, you change that up here, which people can see when you're logged in. And of course your status, you're either online or offline. Oh, online away, doing business, you know, stuff like that, in case you want to be seen or not. And the option that, al that notifies you when a friend logs in. You won't know when they log out though. Never. Of course, this is your guild list if you're in a guild. Dressing room. This allows you to store specific clothing easier, so you don't have to rely on pets all the time. Saw something. Oh, yeah, I don't want to put that in there. But yeah, as you can see, I've got several different outfits from Dragon Raids, or just picking them up, or buying them. and robes as well. I like this robe a whole lot, but this is where you can store clothing, but just remember if you do store clothing in here, it's gonna cost some money depending on the rarity. Well, and the item itself, actually. But let's find a expensive item to... That's not too bad, actually. That's a little bit pricey. I don't think it matters how long you store it in, just the fact of storing it in is gonna be expensive. Oh no, storing it is free, but taking it out is expensive. I can't seem to find anything expensive to show my example, but it can be pretty expensive. This is also where you can customize your character if you have pawns. Not exactly change their gender, that's rebirthing, but you can change how they look. But of course, again, that requires pawns, which you can get here. This is not really important just yet. This is the Saga series. If you're doing the Saga, then I recommend doing this. If you're not doing the Saga, don't even bother with it. But I can tell you right now, the Saga is a major pain in the ass from what I've heard. I've never actually done it because I want to get a little bit stronger on this character, get some more stuff on him. This is the NX shop. I'm not going to open it, because it might crash Mappy. <laughs> but you would just click go to shop and browse the various items you can get, like die ampules, gachapon, uh, fine reforges, which I'll get into in another bed, and so forth. Now that I've covered most of all of this, well, I didn't cover this part, I'll ignore that. This activates your clock, your party menu, your auto view, which I don't know what does that do? Ah, okay. That's interesting. And record video. I would use this, but screw that. How about that? Alrighty. Speaking of all that, your clock is up here, by the way. Well, it could be anywhere, honestly. You can move it wherever. 
but I keep it up here. It tells you the time in Aaron, the world you're in, in game time, I guess you'd call it, and not in the real world. So don't freak out if you see 6, 10 a.m. You're like, oh my god, because that's in game time. And that looks to be about it, besides the menu button down here. This gives you various options. It tells you what server you're on. I'm on Mari. I don't think I have mentioned that before. And I am currently in channel 7. The change channel feature allows you to change specific channels. Huh, even channel 1's normal right now. That's u unusual for uh, channel 1. I'm not going to do that though. Full screen, put you in full screen. Screenshot takes a screenshot of your game and a fixed camera angle. However, if you move off the screen... Oh! Cool. I was wrong. Usually, it's if you move off the screen, it'll cancel automatically. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's go a little bit farther. Huh. There he goes. Let him come back. And here. The home page takes you to the Mabinogi website. Options. This is where you can change specific things in the game. I would show you, but first I'm going to stop recording, because every time you click on options while recording, it crashes Mavi. So, just going to be right back. Alright, these are the forbidden options you're not allowed to touch while recording, but screw it. System settings, of course your video card. Huh. Okay. Resolution, I think that only applies for full screen now then. Nope, it does not. And I think I just crashed Mabby while changing that. <laughs> oh boy. The many things you can do to crash this game, folks. I tell ya, it's easy. It is easy. Alright. The more I record, the more I learn as well. So, do not mess with the options while recording. You can mess with it any other time, but not while recording. Color depth, uh, it's just for the game itself. Interface color is a bit interesting. There's several different colors to work with if you get tired of the one if the sky blue glass that's the default one I have electric gray I like electric gray brightness of the game expand zoom range of vision all the way up so I can do this widescreen mode eh. use film style post shader this is interesting because it makes the game generally darker show you but I'm not gonna all right Effect, that's all the graphic detail. Sound, I have it set rather low at the moment, so you can hear me over the sound. Performance, that's just basic performance of the game. And then game options right here, the control. All here, you can just kind of use them to your leisure. Chat, if you want to change the color of the chat setup or any other kind of reason. You know, it's all here. Etc. This is where I have these two extra slots open. I have show extra slot 1 and 2. And small skill icons, cuz. You can use a 24 hour clock if you're used to that. Or if drop during an expensive item. Yeah. All this good stuff right here. Now we're just going to hit OK. Hopefully we won't crash. We crashed. OK! So, valuable lessons I've learned. Do not open the options menu while recording. Don't do anything in the options menu while recording. Don't close the options menu while recording. We are learning so much about the options menu. Alrighty then. That was the options in a nutshell. Log off allows you to switch between characters, and end game pretty much exits the game. Now that I got that out of the way, there was something else I needed to talk about, but I forgot what that was. It was on the tip of my tongue, but now I just can't remember. I think I've pretty much covered almost everything. If you have any questions about 
specific things, just leave it in the comments. I'll see if I can get to it as quick as as quickly as possible. From there, that concludes the basics tutorial. So, if you like this tutorial and want to see more tutorials, go ahead and click that subscribe button because I intend to do quite a few more because I feel as though people just kind of abandon this game too quickly without really learning the game and that's simply because the game fails at teaching it. And I'll try my best to, you know, teach the game, but... Hey. So, uh, that concludes this video here, and I will see you guys later.